Hey there, you lovely brainiacs. Welcome back Second Chance Tribe to Dr. Second Chance. The place where we unravel the mysteries of the mind with a sprinkle of humor and a dash of quirky wisdom. If you're ready to dive into the world of cognitive distortions, buckle up, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and tap that bell icon so you're always in the loop when we drop more mind-bending content. Oh, and drop a comment below, let me know your thoughts on cognitive distortions. Are they like the little mischievous elves in your brain or more like the quirky sidekicks in a sitcom? Now, let's cut through the mental fog a bit. Cognitive distortions, what the heck are they? Imagine your brain is a Netflix show, and these distortions are the plot twists that leave you scratching your head. They're those sneaky, automatic thought patterns that can turn your mental landscape into a soap opera you never auditioned for. And why are they not healthy? Well, think of them as the clickbait headlines of your mind they create unnecessary drama, stress, and chaos. Not exactly the mental spa day we all signed up for. Cognitive distortions are like the invisible puppeteers of your thoughts. They're those quirky, often irrational ways your mind interprets information. From filtering to catastrophizing, these distortions are like the unexpected guests at your mental party, you didn't invite them, but here they are, spicing things up in the most unhelpful way. Now, let's zoom in on one of these party crashes, filtering. This is when your mind plays the role of the picky editor, focusing on the negative details while conveniently ignoring the positive. It's like watching a movie and only remembering the one awkward scene instead of the epic plot twist. Picture this, you've just given a presentation at work, and everyone is applauding, except for that one person who yawns. Filtering waltzes in, and suddenly, your brain fixates on the yawn. I must be the most boring presenter ever, it whispers. Never mind the standing ovation, the yawn becomes the star of the mental show. So, how do we kick filtering to the curb? I've got two exercises that are not only effective but also as entertaining as a dance-off with your inner critic. Let's dig in. First up, we've got the highlight reel. Imagine your life is a movie, and filtering is the overzealous editor. Take a moment to mentally rewind and play a highlight reel of positive moments. It's like reminding your brain that your life is not a black and white indie film, it's a blockbuster filled with victories, big and small. Next, we've got the positive journal. Get yourself a quirky notebook, the more glitter, the better. Each day, jot down three positive things that happened. It could be as simple as finding a dollar in your pocket or nailing a dad joke. Over time, you'll create a mental library of positivity, and filtering won't stand a chance against the feel-good archives. But why bother with these exercises? Well, reining in filtering is like decluttering your mental space. It means you're not stuck in a negative loop, you're creating a mental environment where positivity can thrive. Suddenly, life is less about the yawns and more about the standing ovations. Before we tumble deeper into the rabbit hole of cognitive distortions, a little reminder, if you're vibing with this journey, hit that like button, share this video with friends who need a mental pick-me-up, subscribe to become a part of our quirky community, drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to hit that bell icon. We are building a tribe of mind explorers, and we want you in the front row for our next mental extravaganza. Alright, let's keep this mental party rolling. From catastrophizing to mind reading, there's a whole cast of characters messing with the carnival of your thoughts. Understanding them is like having a secret decoder ring for the mind. So, there you have it, a quirky, slightly theatrical journey into the realm of filtering. If this resonated with you, give it a thumbs up, share your experiences with cognitive distortions in the comments, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We are on a mission to turn the maze of the mind into a playground of wisdom. Until next time, stay curious, stay awesome, and remember, life is too short to let your brain filter out the good stuff.
Peace out.